briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. While the Wooden's expert witness, an engineer, presented the possibility of a short circuit in the freezer cord, his testimony was disputed by the defendants and eventually undermined by his own admission. He conceded that short circuits can occur during fires due to the intense heat, raising the possibility that the cord burned due to an external fire, rather than starting it. In line with the standard of review established in the Moore v. Ryukul case, the appellate court held that a judgment NOV, or a judgment non obstant veredicto, should only be granted in a clear case. Any ambiguity must be resolved in favor of the original verdict's winner. The court was careful to review the evidence from all angles before concluding that the Woodens had not provided sufficient proof to support their claim. Despite serious discrepancies in the testimony of the plaintiff's experts, the court underscored that credibility issues were for the jury to decide, and the trial court could not base a judgment NOV on its disagreement with the opinions expressed by the plaintiff's witnesses. The case underlined the burden of proof in such lawsuits. The plaintiff must provide clear and convincing evidence that a product defect existed at the time of manufacture and that it caused their injuries. The ruling upholds the integrity of product liability law, demonstrating that courts will weigh the evidence carefully before holding manufacturers responsible for damages caused by their products. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsc.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.